VLOOKUP is one of the most important function, but it's a static function because we provide a fixed data range in second parameter and a fixed column number in third parameter. If you need a value from a different column, you have to change the column number. And if you add a new row or a new column, you have to modify the data range in second parameter. In this video, you will learn how to make VLOOKUP function dynamic so that you can get output from any column without making change in third parameter of VLOOKUP function. Also, we will learn how to make table array parameter dynamic so that any new row or a new column would be part of table array automatically. So let's start. In this example, we have employee sales data of four different months. To get sales value of an employee, we will use VLOOKUP function. So type equals to VLOOKUP open bracket select cell H2 to look up the employee name comma select data range from A1 to E20 comma type 4 to show the data of March month comma type 0 for exact match closing bracket and press enter. The result is March month sales of employee Anil. Now to get sales value of April month, you have to change value in third parameter. April is column number 5, so change value from 4 to 5. Press enter. The result is April month sales of Anil. Now to get value of any column without changing parameter value, we will use match function. So remove 5 and type match open bracket lookup value is month name. So select cell I2 comma select column range from A1 to E1 comma type 0 for exact match, closing bracket for match function and press enter. There is no change in any other parameter of VLOOKUP function. The result is April month sales of Anil. Now change the month to January. VLOOKUP function will show sales of January month of employee Anil. Change the name to Alok and VLOOKUP function will show sales of Alok of January month. In this way, you can search data both in rows and columns using VLOOKUP function. Now add a new row in the data. Now to search sales of a new employee, type employee name in cell H2. VLOOKUP function will return hash NA error because the new row is not included in the table array. So in VLOOKUP function, change the table array of A1 to E21 to include new row. Press enter. VLOOKUP will show the sales data of new employee. Now to include the new row automatically, select the data and press Ctrl T to convert the data into table. Click OK. Now go to formulas, click on name manager, select the table created, click on edit button and change the name. In this example, the table name is eTable. Click OK. Click Close button. Now in VLOOKUP function, remove the table array, which is second parameter. 
and type table name eTable. Press enter. Now add a new row. To search sales data of newly added employee, type the employee name in cell H2. VLOOKUP will show sales of January month of new employee. Similarly, add a new column having sales of May month for all employees. To search May month data, type May in cell I2. VLOOKUP will throw hash and error because May month is not included in match function. Now in match function, remove the lookup array, which is second parameter, and select the table heading from A1 to F1. Now this time, the parameter is showing table name instead of static data range. Click enter, and now VLOOKUP is showing May month sales data. Now add a new column, June. And a new row, type name of new employee, type June in J2. VLOOKUP function will return the sales of June month of new employee. Now change the employee name or month and VLOOKUP will show corresponding data. So in this way, you can make your VLOOKUP function dynamic. If you like the content, Press thumbs up and share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get notification of new videos. Thanks for watching.